We're here with Jay Tumbridge from Tumbridge Studios who's helped us with our rebrand and we thought while we're here, we're basically going to make the most of Jay being here and he's going to share three key things you need to focus on when going through a rebrand. So we were just kind of talking about this off camera. Mm. Do you want to kind of talk through some of the things to focus on? Absolutely. I mean, I think, I think if there were three things that you'd want to take out of that, that, that process that are absolutely key in, in creating something that's going to work for you um, is, is the first of all is, is differentiation. Look at your competitors, look what they're doing um, and make sure that you're crafting something that is going to make you stand out from the crowd, that people can see you and you're not going to blend in with everyone else. Mm. You've got to be, you know, you've got to stand out in today's world of yeah. competition. Um, so that's the first point. The second one is, um, is you know, you've got to be, it's, it needs to be ownable to you and it needs to be future proof. So you need to be able to, you need to embrace this um, and it can take you on your journey with you. I feel um, like that's our new brand is kind of, I feel like we own it now, it's mm. our kind of thing. But yeah. it needs to last as well, doesn't it? You yeah. know, it's not just for now, yeah. it's for another, you know, three, five, ten years, well, mm. whatever that might be. So I think that's that's another really, really important aspect. And then I think the last thing is you, you just, you, you've, you've got to be really, you've got to love it. Mm. You know, if you, if you don't feel passionate about it, if there's something that's, you know, in the back of your mind, that then fix it mm. at the time get it get it right make sure you 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 you, you really embrace it and it's yeah. and it's yours and then the, the more positive and happy you are about it the more you're going to use it as a, yeah. a sales tool within your business mm, to, yeah. to help you know you need to be able to grow and you need to be able to succeed mm. so the brand people lots of people don't think that brand identity your logo your colors can help you be successful and grow but actually if they Definitely are can. so good you know that you're so happy with them they'll they'll drive energy and positivity into yeah. the business and mm. in theory drive you forward yeah i think our brand is really working for us now mm. it's it's really adding a it is an investment isn't it it's yeah. an investment 100%, 100%. but yeah i think it goes goes from being something that is is there that is doing its job yeah to becoming at the forefront of something that you can, you're actually pushing it, every, mm. everything stands behind it and, mm. and, and works with the brand, yeah. rather than maybe you know, the brand doing something and what mm. you're doing is slightly different. And that's a problem I see, so, so a challenge I see in a lot of businesses that they're doing really great things, but often their brand mm. isn't representing the quality or, or, or greatness mm. of mm. the products and services they're offering. So if you can, bring the brand up to that level and they're working in harmony. I think that's that's a really good place to be. Cool. Thanks, Jay. Where can people find you if they want to stalk you? Yeah, so if they want to stalk me, I'm more than happy to stalk me, that's fine. <laughs> um, website is tunbridge.studio. Um, you can look me up on LinkedIn. Uh, my name's Jay Tunbridge. Sweet. Thanks, Jay. Thanks very much.